there's an attempt on my life and my wife's life set by Simon Smith in Paris to kill both of us in this process or by kidnapping our child. We inform this in public. Any step taken by Simon Smith or group he supports, we will respond heavily. This is not accusation or we're trying to peer attempt. These are what we are informing. Security service of Italian force and French force and the German force are aware of this action of Mr. Simon Smith. All the documents is in the hand of Interpol. We are releasing this information on the basis that we know what you're up to and what you're about to do. Security has been set by Italian forces and the French forces to capture you on move. Mr. Simon Smith, you have caused mayhem. You're not our problem. The problem is you and yourself. The kidnapping and the killing of a child on the 11th of September, which is on Sunday, falls with the same day after the slaughtering of the Prophet who gave his son as a slaughter, and in Islamic religion they celebrated. And this was your plan. We have unfolded and security services are on top of you. You wanted to use my son, now we answer you very heavily. We take every member of your family in hand and all the forces you set up to create chaos. We have sat and met with all the security forces. We are aware of the French people who have moved into France and into Italy, and we are monitoring. I have had a huge discussion with the security forces of the President of the Italy yesterday and with the forces of the Italian military, what do you call it, defense or the police. So, unfortunately, you have two choices. You carry out your threat or you back off. Either way, we know what is happening and what is about to happen. We have monitored your movement and security forces and my security forces allowed and said not to discuss. But we know exactly what you've done and who pays you and how you've been, how you've been financed by Mossad and we have all the companies you set up where you receive the money. The information is in the hand of Interpol, not us anymore. Let me explain to you what is about to happen. Maybe it will not happen now that we disclose it. The Jewish state has financed crisis in Europe by financing the Muslims to attack churches and priests, as they did on the 5th of November last year, creating a place to start conflict between the religions where the benefit goes back to the people who set it up. If you're a Christian, if you're a Muslim, protect, go to the other side and protect the churches and the priests. We have informed Vatican of this move. There are attempts to create mayhem, and through this mayhem, using the religion to create the next step of wars in Middle East and in Europe. We have unraveled through communication, through our security and other forces, this is what it is, and the Jewish people, heads of Jewish community in Paris are fully aware of this setup. We ask the Muslims and the Jews to join each other and stand next to each other, Christians and the Muslims, to protect each other's mosques and churches and the priests. Do not give into this violence which is financed. We have found all the companies, the structure which is financing this violence. We put it open. Does not matter if our website is brought down, if we can save the life of one priest, one mullah, one rabbi, we have served our purpose with this teaching today. The financing has come through sale of the Coils Cash Foundation Magraph systems in France as a cover up to see who are the supporters and how they could infiltrate. So we have the whole process, we understand the whole process. This is incited, we have the communication with both Red Circle and Sam Smith on the same channels of Facebook hidden, communicating with each other, planning the kidnapping that Valletta is not safe more for me and my son and my family. Interpol is in full control and the copies of this are in the hand of the federal police. If any mosque or my family is touched or my son, we will revenge in such a way that there will be no name of Islam left. And the same as we said, we do the same with the Jews. 
we become one nation, one religion, one family and protect each other, but we allow these people who will to try to create mayhem. The financing comes directly from the State of Israel to create and initiate this job. The same as we saw, no Jews dying in the 11th of September because they were, the Jews were in the two towers were informed there is going to be such an attack. The same thing is set for this 11th till 25th of September of this year to attack churches and mosques on the name of the name of the religion. It has nothing to do. They have found a weak people and they have paid them and that they are doing. They run a pretest in Tron. Uh, in 30, 31st of July of this year, to see how they can provo provoke these attacks. All the videos and the operations are shared by the security services. The place, us, where we are, is fully protected by the security services. We carry fully armed officers with us as of today. Any approach to me or my family, it means loss of life for those who have pre-planned it. So, we had two choices, to keep silent and let the process go, but inform everybody what is planned and knowing that what is planned to be the speech on the 12th of September on the integration of me and my wife and the killing of our child is fully unraveled. We won't allow it happen. We brought heavy armed officers and we protect our lives against Mr. Simon Smith and his group. All your channels have been watched and monitored by security services. This is all incited by Red Circle. We are asking for the warrant of his arrest for attempted murder of a child who he actually, as he said, pissed in the garden in front of him. So now you know how the users and pedophiles operate. This is important and is my message to all of you. If you stay and survive this attack which is planned or by announcing it, they will stop it and they find another way to do it, is to unite, doesn't matter in what religion you are. Don't allow these provocations of religion to come into uniting the humanity. This is part of the structure. This is part of what we have to be stronger with the new technology to finally cross the borders of the religion. It comes to what we can serve to change the condition. My security people, are pulling their hairs out why I disclosed. But that's their problem, they don't sit in my chair. But we listen to our security advisors, we listen, we are com completely, continuously advised different field forces of the security. They help us, we help them to monitor the people who operate around us. If you don't know who Sam Smith is, he's in every violence presentation in Paris you've seen in past few weeks and it's been reported. He has put it in there that they will bring Caroline and me to, to put an end into it. You have two choices, you put an end to my life and I put an end to all the aggressions. We release, we have a website, you can see what we tell you and what the security services would like to tell you. We release the website that all the detail on Mr. Simon Smith, he is a Tunisian background, he is not handicapped, he took over and got to know a lot of French Cash Foundation supporters that he could infiltrate. We've been monitoring, we have been monitoring all the activities as we do with everything else. So, we have two choices. We give you a link as it's available to all the national securities at the moment with all the details of Mr. Simon Smith. You can go in and understand how they operate, where their finances come from, they are bankrupting companies in France in millions and financing terrorism to put the Christians against the Muslims in Europe to create a new mayhem. They did a trial run 15th of November last year in, in killing a priest in France and they are going to repeat the same thing, firing and all sorts of things at the priests and the churches starting from 11th of September to repeat is the wisdom of the people, as we are one nation, one government, we don't rely on the police forces and the government security apparatuses to help us. We inform the one nation, which is the Keshe Foundation supporters, what is about to happen. It's all planned safely and you've seen why recently 
the red circle has started putting all sorts of things on the internet because we have seen the operation we saw the same kind of a slander with Allen before his arrest this is the way they react trying to cover the point we have asked for the warrant for the arrest and bringing these people into justice in Italy as we unveil more and more information we release on the line you can see the pictures and the entry of Mr. Sam Smith and uh, Red Circle next to each other, how they communicate with each other. So it means that we're collaborating. We saw the same kind of collider communication between Alan Sterling and Red Circle. So we understand the, the implication and application. It's important for those of you who are in Europe, especially in Italy, Milan, Torino, Bari, Rome, Berlin, I can read you a summons for a resume of the places of attack which is expected and our security forces see possibility of. Um, most of the major European cities which is connected to Christianity, they would like to provoke Muslims against Christians, but the whole finance has been paid by Israeli state. To put the two against each other the way they did, they don't lose anything of theirs, but a lot of Christians and Muslims died in the two towers on the 11. Now the single Jewish love lots. And it was fully examined, fully prepared, and I can testify to it, because as you know, my family, I come from a very deep Kohen family of Jewish uh, background. We had, as a member of our larger family, two offices on two floors, of the two towers. On the day of accident, I was online speaking to my cousins and my uncles in New York, and they said, it's no problem, we couldn't get to the office. I thought it's very strange how only they couldn't get to this office, and they were not in. So they were fully informed beforehand not to be in. As a Iranian Jewish background, it became very strange. I explained to my mother at that time next to me, they knew because I've seen the same operation in my working life in Northern Ireland, where, for example, where IRA was to bomb a shop in the Protestant side, suddenly the sales dropped, dropped. The shops could not see sales, and we always predicted that's going to be an attack, and there was a bomb, because the community always to inform, they didn't want to lose any Catholics, and the Protestants is the same. How we know this, I used to own a shop in Belfast, as part of our cooperation, and my manager told me, Mehran, the sales has dropped in two days. I said, get all the rubbish we have in, they're going to blow us up, and they blew us up that night. So, we have a full experience. We're talking from background experience, working with security services. Do not allow these people to be paid and done. The name of the companies financing this violence the whole operation is about 30 companies set up to hide the finances of these attacks on churches, on the priests, and blame the Palestinians or blame the Muslims is all paid, the same as the, uh, what we call 9-11. We don't make accusation, we have hard evidence, and the evidence has already been shared with the Italian security services and the French security service and Interpol across Europe. We can release you with a specific passcode which is given to the security services to monitor all the details. We have opened up. It is some 30, 40 companies which are financing it, but they are using the Arabs or the Jewish Arabs from Morocco, from Tunisia, from uh, Morocco, uh, what do you call it, uh, different Northern African countries, to infiltrate and bring people in and do the violence to the benefit of their paymasters. All the companies, all the companies they brought in 10, 5, 6 million into bankruptcy in past 3 or 4 years to finance these as companies. If you've seen, Mr. Sam Smith has got involved in making coils to find out who's in Magla business in the France to bring it in and creating finance for these kind of violences. They transferred material into cash for violence using the cash foundation technology. We have all the videos, we have all the materials, we can support our claim. This was done exactly in Northern Ireland, where the IRA was financing paying people to do. Trafficking using materials to finance violence by paying the soldiers. 
we see the same pattern, I was involved with Northern Ireland, peace process as you know, I only ask our security services to open up and see if we can find the same track. Within two days we found all the materials we needed to know. My experience with my work with the British MI5, MI6 and, the, and others, it was very easy for us to find where the money is in and how the process is. We can release all the materials we have from RA peace process to show we are correct in the attack on the name of Islam, on the Christians that the mayhem starts in Europe. The German government as part of this process has been aware but they could not stop it. They asked their citizens to back up and have food and everything because of the emergency which might come up. This is what you have to understand. Do not allow, there is nothing wrong with Islam, Blessed Muhammad is name, the same as Blessed Muhammad is Christ. It's the greed of the man and the name of the religion which is used by these people to create this mayhem. Record this recording and pass it across the internet because it'll be you, your children, your family, the priest you believe in and those who serve humanity will become the martyrs of this movement by this, what I call a scandalous move from the state of Israel on Christians and Muslims and some Jews will lose their life too. My life is, is irrelevant, but what we achieve as one nation is more important. This is very clear. We have, we armed, we brought on officers to protect us. But what has been planned by Red Circle in assassinating my child because he couldn't abuse it before and now you see the pictures of him next to Uncommon Communication Line on Facebook. The two talking to each other and telling that the place Balletta is not safe for my son anymore and the same what they're going to do with Caroline and me on Sunday and then broadcast it on Monday on the 12th. Now they're going to deny but we release the link on the internet for you to download and see the pattern of the work and how who's been financing it. This is important because we knew the risk. We had two choices, not to attend the conference or attend the conference and open the doors. We attend the conference because we had nothing to lose. We shared everything with the public. Why not this part? And I have one advice for those who incite violence on the name of the religion. There is no religion there left for those who incite violence. We've been told not to interfere with the process of elections in the United States government. I announce one thing very simply. Mrs. Hillary Clinton was in Iran during the time the regime of Mr. Ahmadinejad. I was the mediator. There was always a dispute that what happened. In that landing in Ahwaz airport, the crash happened, one of the Mrs. Hillary Clinton's securities died. Mrs. Hillary Clinton received the heavy brain damage, was shipped from, Tehran, from Ahwaz to Dubai, Dubai, Washington. It's offered with the acceptance of the Iranian government, the support of the Keshe Foundation technology for a brain hemorrhage she received. And now we see that brain damage hemorrhage in the process of election attacking her and she's behaving as part of the brain hemorrhage reactions. And there's been a doubt where she received it, how she received the brain damage. Brain damage was received exactly 14 days after the meeting of the Keshe Foundation meet with the American officials in Brussels, where we started the peace process on a move between two countries. She was supposed to land in Ahwaz, meet with President Ahmadinejad, who was present in the airport, to start the peace negotiations. And in that crash, accidental crash, the accident happened and Mrs. Hillary Clinton was damaged. But Mrs. Hillary Clinton has a heavy support in the Jewish lobby. And they tried to kill many people who could stay. As you know, we were there inside the instigators of the line. Now you can go back. We released our meeting with, on the request of the President Obama, on the 6th of November, our meeting with the Americans in Brussels, which you've seen, we announced it. And uh, within two weeks after that, the meeting between the President Ahmadinejad and Mrs. Hillary Clinton to stop the peace talks started, and she landed in the south on a trip to Israel that she could pass the message, what is the peace process, what Israelis will agree. The head injury was 
happened. This is total accident. It happened. Nobody can say it. how it happened. We cannot explain it. It was a mechanical failure. <clears throat> the proof of this is, if you go on the Iran press about two weeks after the accident, the Iranian head of Ahwaz airport announced that we are holding an American jetliner on the runway of the Ahwaz airport after an accident. This jetliner was carrying Mrs. Clinton for negotiation with peace, with Iran, where we started it. We have, we carry enough information. <clears throat> we don't blame Mrs. Clinton, but we celebrate her courage. I asked the Iranian President Office and His Excellency and His Eminence Ayatollah Khomeini that if we can offer the support to the White House for Mrs. Clinton, and it was accepted. And we have all the communication on our servers we can show. It should not be a negative point that she was in Iran negotiating. It's a positive point in accepting the steps of the process. If you look at the end of that month, Mrs. Hillary Clinton withdrew from the cabinet of President Obama because she was mentally damaged in brain damage in the accident that was. What we tell you is historically there and you can check. We don't see the process to damage either side of the peace negotiations with Iran and the negotiation carried on with a new team which was elected to come into power, which is the present Iranian, uh, uh, which we see at the moment in power. It took a lot of courage from these people to negotiate, to go against the grain of 30 years of fighting, the same as it took with the Belfast and between IRA and uh, the other side. But we've seen the fruit of the peace talk. We've seen the initiation of the exchange of the USB stick. And then 15 days later, on the 15th, actually less than 15 days later, nine days later, on the 15th of November, we met, as is officially announced. And two weeks later, uh, Mrs. Clinton was in Ahwaz airport as part of the peace negotiation. This should not be used by the other side that she was or she wasn't. It took a lot of courage from man of strength to initiate even to enter Iran. The President of Iran accidentally wasn't in the airport. He was present for the peace talk to stop this first process. And these people are men of peace and we have to respect them. If Mrs. Ellington is damaged mentally due to this accident, had a reason, but should not be used against her because it took a lot of strength to initiate the next step. And we have seen the fruit after this work. Now in Iran, children receive equipment that it saves their life. The, no, the life is becoming back to normality for the people who lost so many. So when we inform you, that we have, and we know the attacks is set for the priest, and then retaliation of the Muslims, and being starting of mayhem, it has to go public. We open the channels. Our people who can open these channels are available. We give you the passcode, you can all go and download everything. How it's been set up, how it's financed, who's financing it, and who they are. They say, Sam Smith is a police informer. He says he's a Jew. It's irrelevant. If he's an informer, what is he to do with threatening other scientists and other people's life? This is the problem they have to solve between themselves. Police has opened a file. We are closely monitoring and speaking to both securities and across Europe. We don't make accusation. We have everything in hard copy and it's been shared with the intelligence and the police. Be wise and spread the knowledge if you are a Christian to the churches across. We have informed Vatican in our meeting yesterday. And be aware that this is nothing to do with Islam or the Muslims. If you are a Muslim across Europe, go to the churches and say as a support that you will not allow it to happen. This is what we have to do. And the same from the other side. Don't let greed of a few bringing mayhem into Europe. This is well planned. 
we can even give you the people, the faces of the people who are operating in the background. Women have been used to finance, to transfer the documents. We have their pictures, we have their faces. You have to understand, a lot of the things you buy from the Keshe Foundation, pays for these kind of work. Every penny we have, goes back into every aspect of securing, developing new technologies, supporting the people who support the Foundation. We do not go and ask for donations, we create the finances to create that we can donate our time and knowledge to the others. According to the intelligence we have, any donation to the Keshe Foundation is blocked on its arrival if they cannot, or they would like to stop it. That we stop, but the support of you with what you buy, or what you get from the Keshe Foundation, allows us to finance these kind of intelligence, we carry more intelligence support, terabytes of it, that we keep for our work, this is part of it, it belongs to you, and now that we see a point of change, on the 11th of September to cause mayhem, you paid for it, we stored it, we gathered it, we paid for our intelligence services to work in the background, even the Italian police and the French police are so surprised how a foundation has such as elaborate structure of the intelligence inside it and gathers information, because we becoming one nation, we becoming as part of a nation, you have to see our weaknesses and vulnerabilities. This is what you pay for when you buy a book, I take as I said, what I need, the rest of it pays for gathering the information, if you can stop one priest to be killed, by these people who have been paid by the paymasters, we have well paid for all the work we've done. If you can do the same, on the Islamic or Muslim child to be killed on the revenge, we have achieved the same power. As I said, we don't structure the Keshe Foundation and the Universal Council without the backup. The Universal Council takes place tomorrow, on the 9th of the 9th of the 9th, which is the end of all the problems for humanity. The Council makes decision on Saturday the 10th, which is the beginning for the humanity as a Council. The day has been chosen specifically to be, and to coincide. So, in a way, what we give you is the information from the past order, how they've been trying to disturb, and from tomorrow the new order starts. This is what we have to understand, and it's, impo it's important how the things go. We've been monitoring, we had 108, 190 odd people, and the French were sitting to support how to attack, they disappeared, we are down to 157. So, a lot of people who sit on the chat rooms, now they know we know, and we're keeping a track of all your IDs. Good morning. We see drop from 190, from the second we announced, that we know the process, they were trying to attack, now they all disappeared. We are 100% correct. We have armed officers accompanying me, Caroline, and our child, and the police security visible. We protect our lives, but at the same time, you have to answer to your government. All the details of those who are inciting the violence has been kept and well recorded. The Jewish states financing all the companies, how much, how many millions they gone into bankruptcy to finance this by feeding the money into violence, to set up these all violences in Paris, in Berlin, all has been kept, and we have it, and it's in the hand of the security services. All the directors of these companies in France will be arrested in due time for financing violence in Europe. I hope you appreciate how you have financed peace, with this, if we can stop the attacks, now it's in public. We informed the Italian police and the French police, and there has been a meeting in past seven days, between the French and the British securities, how to avoid these things in mainland, and in the 
United Kingdom, starting from the 11th to the 15th and 25th of September to carry on. But if we knew what we know now, we would have stopped the 9-11 September of the two towers, which was preset. And now we can, as one nation, stop this to happen to all of us. It does not matter if you're a Mullah, or a priest, or a, uh, what do you call, Jewish rabbi. A life is precious, and those who try to use it, have to understand the position. We have made a full dossier of the connection between Red Circle and the whole organizations, how they operate, how they contact, how they operate, how they do things. Cash Foundation facts is to create as much mayhem that their reality, the fact about them doesn't show, but we have 1.8 terabox of information. The whole information has been opened four weeks ago to the Italian security services. So, it's not something new, we gave them the access code, and they were surprised how a foundation have such an elaborate security operation. We protect the world citizens. It's my job as a head of the foundation, till the council sets its own rules to protect. We spend huge amount of money gathering information, storing information, and sharing information with the national security services. Any questions? Or have I been talking to myself? No, we're here, Mr. Kesh. I hope at we managed to convey the message that everyone knows what is planned and we are wise to it. We have released, we need the time for the governmental securities that the people in Paris who are inciting this, uh, what you call it, mayhem, can be arrested and monitored, that by releasing people do not take revenge on the companies that work is work. But it's a very elaborate, it is extremely large setup, and it's the same finance and funding that I saw in uh, Northern Ireland with IRA. So, having the experience with Northern Ireland, it was very easy for me where to look for the tools to find out, and it was very easy for our research group and securities to literally open up the belly of the terrorist organization and the name of religion. There is nothing wrong with Christianity, and there is nothing wrong with Islam, and there is nothing wrong with whatever the belief you have is when they use the religion to create mayhem for them to benefit by it, this is where the problem comes. We share the same intelligence with the Chinese government, that they are aware what is happening around the world, because there is huge investments by the Chinese in the West. Their interest has to be protected. I am due to meet the Chinese ambassador in the coming hours, and the same intelligence report will be handed to them on both sides of the fence. You're happy, John? No problem. Giovanni and I have been working very heavily to create this security for European citizens. Uh, even during our holiday time, we bothered the security services beyond belief that they are shocked that we carry intelligence office. And it's part of our work. Pardon? You can put this on site. Give the link to a better not to do. There is a report I've just been shown by Stanley that death of a seal and injury of Clinton was announced at the time, but nobody knew how this happened. It's just on the internet. You can send the link to um, to Rick that you can see what we're talking about. 